you might be now for many of you watching at home but game three we go domination with the huntsman for them now this is where that resilience needs to come full force down 2-0 in a series which really shouldn't be that long <laughs> And of course, Minnesota Rockers, we, we've given them all the gas in the world, are absolutely a team that can be professional and are able to like pull this off. But at this point, I don't know if it's really up to them. It Love might that. just be up to Envoy at, at this point. He's <laughs> making decisions on what happens in game, but in, in terms of purely the gun runner domination, same thing I said about Ramaza. Chicago Huntsman, don't believe we've seen them play this, at least not on the Wait and see if that was what we're going to get. For now, it's of course a tie game, six points to six. With <laughs> minute in the books. Finally, to be hilt, capped up by the Huntsman. And boy, the man of the moment right now on your screens after an incredible game. Surprise, mother. Holmes looking to continue where he left off. Has to win that fight, does so. A scene will fall. The Huntsman can start building themselves a lead. God, I feel like he just. Boy, if you don't get time, just kind of stops at certain times. <laughs> just because of how good he Bruh. has been. Still trying to keep up that production as much as possible, but Assault is going to shut down not just Envoy, but Gunless as well. A lot of presence over towards this B flag, but Formal's going to be there to respond. He's only able to shut down two, though. It looks like the Rocker doing just enough to secure the B flag. Yeah, Formal definitely seems to be settling <laughs> into a new role. He's very comfortable with the sub. I mean, Formal, at the end of the day, he's expected to be comfortable with pretty much anything. Doesn't matter. Assault rifles, submachine gun, sniper rifle. Analyzer, six monitors, ten computers. For now, Minnesota Rocker is down one point. Well, I was going to say, when talking about, like, the role change, it isn't that big of a theme to me just because of, like, the caliber of right. players that they are. I'm fine with Arsenal. No, God! He's being aggressive with the sub. I'm fine with him posting up with an AR. They're and the so exact good. same thing can be said about Formal. Whatever they want to do on the map is fine by me. And I trust that they will have to turn over and take no, 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 maybe a no. day before they're comfortable into that role. I guess you need a lot of experience. I, I don't see either... Cool. And, and you've seen both players in their careers be versatile, right? So it, it's a comfortable change. That is for sure. As things stand, it's the Huntsman with a 38-29 to 29 point lead. Two and a half minutes still to go in the first round. I'd love now to send it over to an Astro Gaming listening with the Huntsman. Click on the subscribe button. Don't smash it. Don't smash it. Don't smash it. Huntsman, of course, with the lead chance, but in the final 40 okay. seconds, pressure. F Even so, with 30 seconds left, we may go into the second half all square. And, and realistically, I think the Rocker have to be ecstatic with how close this game is. At, at one point, they were being outslayed by nearly 20 kills. The Huntsman really just did a poor job of keeping that C spawn blocked. Like, yes, they were holding C and B, pushed up a lot of map control, getting a lot of kills, but pushed up just a little bit too far. And we heard it in the comms at least once of saying, oh, we didn't block the C spawn. I'm going back for it. And there was just a couple moments where the Rocker were able to take the C flag for just enough time. They the rocker half yeah, half. I thought it was going to be tied, so one point advantage though. All that hard work the Huntsman put into it. Around about a 20 point lead. Gone, nullified for nothing. Minnesota Rocker. They could not get outslayed like that again, because 
you feel like those mistakes which the huntsman allowed into their coming. game in the first round action is they coming. won't do that again in the action is coming yeah i mean one of the things we talked about in terms of the keys to victory the star alex has said well this time they've done a little bit of both got our exits near <laughs> of course alex not too high of production either but of course no one really for the minnesota rocker has been getting a ton of kills but as far as the opening break goes the Hello, rocker <laughs> don't have the either not good looks Nice pressure being put on the map there from Chicago Huntsman, really making Minnesota Rocket think about everything now off spawn. And this is where domination. Why are you running? Why are you running? And you get what looks like messy, but you'll see the pros make the exactly what time from when you see backtrack over towards C. Now there's going to be a couple of Minnesota Rocket players there. Signs for now at least that it isn't the time to spring into life. The no, 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 no. Minnesota Rocket will capture A. Still though, Huntsman, hold on. See, so just one flag held by both teams, and from a one point game already, chance. Look at the lead, though. Hey, and finally, we're gonna see fights over towards the deep. No flag. It seemed like the entire lobby was just scared of it for some reason for what uh, a minute and 15 seconds, but eventually the rocket goes, Oh, yes, if you do get that flag, bruh. <laughs> so they're gonna be trying to accomplish it. He kept up, and now once again, he's gonna rock it and chip away at a very, very small 40. Yeah, boy. 15 point lead, the Huntsman hold, but that's a nice kill feed if you're a rocker fan. Four kills in quick succession, the neutral over towards C, so he needs to be careful. This is gonna have to be a neutral and run, potentially even Ooh. find a kill. Kill two, beautiful stuff from him. Buying the team a little bit of time, and a of course, keeping Huntsman's points production. You want to hold Huntsman, though, do have a lot of points towards this B flag. It's really just got our X by himself. With the <laughs> Gunless wastes zero time. He pushes up nice and aggressive. His teammates can cap that B flag for free. Now he can just be it. No one can try to spawn. Yep, that's exactly the game plan. If he can at least find one more, it would be fantastic. If he's still green, oh. Dr. X is. You serious? <laughs> been spotted sniffed out by gunless he will fall the trade was inevitable but gunless did his job and did it perfectly huntsman once again locking a two to one flag advantage but pressure has been applied now over towards c formal with one assault trade boy if you don't get any map from him oh that's hot all the pressure that's hot putting on the left side of the map they keep leaving that c spawn open so the rocker will eventually just wait a minute to watch because as you so correctly called Minnesota Rocker with one <laughs> umpire spawning behind Chicago Huntsman will have to deal with the C flag once again. The big, big more <laughs> play style that the uh, Huntsman <laughs> lose control of B, and unfortunately for them, <laughs> this now is where Minnesota Rocker can apply a ton of pressure right back at the hunt. And for any like Huntsman fans that are annoyed with that spawn, it is completely replicatable. We've seen it numerous times already. The players, like pro players, know that that's going to be the case. The Huntsman, for whatever reason, just elected to not block the spawn. Maybe just a couple of communication mishaps. But now they're putting pressure over towards A. They're tired of dealing with the C flag, man. They're going yeah. all the way across the map. I, I think that decision is as simple as they just don't want the C flag. They'd much rather hold A and B. As they were able to really have the most success doing just that, Gunless evaporates Goddard Rex. Now I'm just a five point lead, but Minnesota Rocker still with four fights under in game two. Looking at oh no, try and make the plays towards the end of game three. The lead just three points. A now neutral. If it stays this way, Chicago Huntsman will win the series 3 0. But Envoy, you can see just the pressure he wants to apply at any point could collapse in over towards. This is not right. This is not cool. And now it's Gunless, though. Gunless is the man responsible for seeing this time around. He's not blocking the spawns. He's got to oh, this is the play. He's this got two play. players right behind. Shoot him in the back and makes the big play. That's how you handle the scene. It's important to be neutralized over towards B. It's Envoy. I think Chicago is going to play this perfectly. Oh, that balance of rotation is in their Got him. favor. Arches will find one before falling. 30 seconds. Minnesota Rocker. They need the kills and they need them now. Assault will find one. Neutral over towards B. But the trades have to come through. Keep your eye on God Rex. He's flying towards Will he be able to neutral in time? He's not going to be able to do so. Gunless is there. B is still neutral. And Chance, that might be that. So the land to online. Ben doesn't make a difference. Maybe not to the Huntsman. A dominant 3-0 win. Well, 
Dominant is definitely a bit of a stretch. But they did get to 3-0, you know, as close as the first two maps were going to be. I mean, and yes, this one was very close in the end, but a, a convincing, I should say, 3-0 All three games, when you look at the score, very, very close.